It is Thursday, December 20th. The holiday season is upon us, and it is time for high school basketball on MPS TV. You are looking at Midland High School as the Midland High Chemics play host to their crosstown rivals, the Dow High Chargers, here tonight. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper, and Tom, tonight we start with the girls' action, and we've got two teams that could not be any different than they are <laughs> here tonight. You've got the veteran-led Dow High Chargers, and you've got the the young and youthfulness of the Midland High Chemex. Exactly, and Dow High's got plans for postseason uh, to go a long way, and Midland High right now is just trying to develop their very talented sophomore class. Absolutely, the Dow High Chargers coming into this game with a three and one record. Their only loss was to a very tough team from Paramino Westphalia. This is a Dow High Charger team that's got a couple of guards that are going to be playing college ball. You got Molly Davis, you got Maisie Taylor, and they lead the Chargers. And the thing is with both Davis and Taylor, they played uh, with each other for so long, they just kind of know where each one is going to be. And they've got to try to blend their the youth of Dow High starting lineup uh, in order to, to make this a complete team effort. This is a team coming off a couple of big wins. On the other side, the Midland High Kimmicks under second-year coach Jaden Klobes. This is a Kimmick team that is extremely young. They've also been hit by the injury bug that we'll talk about. So this is a Midland High team. Their goal is just to improve, but this is a Kimmick team that's 0-4, but all four of those losses have been by single digits. Yes, and uh, they're missing actually uh, uh, three of their guards, or two of their guards, that they expected to play a lot of minutes uh, during the early parts of the season. We are set to go with high school basketball. Let's turn things over to public address announcer, Jordan Gaitner. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise, remove your caps, turn your attention to the flag at the west end of the gym. Veterans, you may salute the flag and join the Midland High School Kemet Pet Band as they honor America with our national anthem.
the starters, and we are set to go with high school basketball on MPS TV. Glad you could be with us. The first of two regular season meetings between the HH Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Kimmick. The Dow High Chargers wearing the black And their only loss was really early in the year before they've really had much of a time to gel. And I think we're going to see Dow uh, looking at 17 or 18 wins this year. Dow High Chargers, their starters, Alexa Colnitis, Molly Davis, Maisie Taylor, Jada Gardner, and Alyssa Kepner. Midland will counter with Olivia Carpenter, Jordan Phillips, Renee Mulvaney, Alyssa Critz, and Regan Riley. So here we go, the ball up in the air, and it'll be won by the Dow High Chargers. Cole Knight is wasting no time, feeding it to Gardner. The shot no good, and we've got a ball that goes out of bounds. So the Chargers wasting no time, and this will be a very interesting matchup. The experience of the Dow High Chargers and the Midland High Kimmicks who are just looking to improve and get better game by game. And certainly not what uh, Coach Klobes wanted to see at the outset by the full court press. A turnover as Gardner comes away with the ball. She's just a sophomore working to Macy Taylor. Over to Molly Davis. Three-point shot. Count it. Molly Davis, she's going to be a Chippewa next year. She's a missed basketball candidate. She had 36 points in their season opening game against Freeland. Nice drive there by Midland High's Olivia Carpenter. The sophomore drives to the bucket, draws the foul. That is something Midland High has done very well all season. And Olivia is a natural scorer. She just needs to uh, you know, pick out the shots that really help her team. But uh, she, she looks good so far. Chance for a three-point play. The shot from Carpenter is no good. That is something that Jaden Klobes has been concerned with. They've been able to get to the free throw line. They haven't been able to make the free throws. Chargers leading by a point in the early going, and there's a turnover. Mulvaney coming up with the steal. She's just a freshman getting the start tonight for Midland. Carpenter working the ball, driving in again. Carpenter puts up the shot, rolls around, rolls around, and finally goes through. Carpenter with back-to-back -back baskets, and Midland High has got an early 4-3 lead a minute into this contest. This is the non-Saginaw Valley game. There's a three-point shot. You give Davis a chance to shoot the ball, she's going to without hesitation. Chargers trying to feed it inside, knocked away, back-to-back -back steals by Midland High. Kimmick's looking to go coast-to-coast. -coast. Alyssa Critch, the junior, puts the shot up, no good. Maybe Taylor will bring it back the other way for the Chargers. Taylor drives in, and a nice move by Taylor. Split apart the defense, post up, and Taylor with her first basket. And that's really a senior move. She saw that the left side uh, was really empty, and she was able to cut across to use that, uh, that area. Chargers leading 5-4, to four, just underway. 6.15 to go here in the opening quarter. Working on the baseline. Midland High will feed it back to Carpenter. Carpenter picks up her dribble. Nice feed over to Phillips, who can't hold on to the ball. Chargers come back the other way. Taylor into the paint. Goes to her right this time around, and Taylor back-to-back -back bucket for Dow High. Well, we kind of expected uh, that uh, uh, the Taylor and Davis would carry the scoring load, but I think what uh, Tyson, the coach, really wants to see is other people stepping up. Three-point shot. No good. Hits the front of the rim. The shot by Critz. Chargers will come back. The other direction, Molly Davis pulling back, goes over to Taylor, now feeds to Gardner. Gardner works the baseline, almost lost the ball and does. Another turnover as Alyssa Critz will bring the ball up. That's three turnovers on characteristic early on for the Chargers. Carpenter, who has taken over as one of the leaders on this Midland High team, young Midland High team, and we're going to have a foul as Phillips tried to go into the paint. Phillips is a player that... Jaden Klobes told us that he would like to see do more on the floor. Well, she's always been a support player in other years, and now this really should be her team to help run, and uh, she, she needs to step up a little bit more and be a bigger part of the scoring. 
Caitlin Murray checks in for the Chargers. Working the baseline is Mulvaney. Mulvaney with the bounce pass inside, losing on the handle. Ball is still loose. Mulvaney will come up with it. Pass and cross over to Critch. Critch goes into the paint, works it back out over to Carpenter. Carpenter a couple of dribbles. Feeds it to Jordan Phillips. Phillips drives, working it around the perimeter. Are the Kimmicks. Dow High leading by three. Midland High goes off the foot. On the ground, we're going to have a jump ball call. And not sure where the uh, possession is. It's going to be Midland High basketball. Well, Coach Klobes of Midland High said they're kind of uh, toying with a little different offense tonight. And uh, they do seem a little bit mechanical. But as soon as they uh, get a little more fluid, I think we're going to see some better shots. Riley has it inside, but it's going to be a great defensive play by Murray, who comes off the bench. And the jump ball, possession arrow in favor of the Chargers. Four and a half minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Dow High leading by three. One of the things that uh, Klobes told us, he wanted somebody other than M&M, Davis and Taylor, to, uh, to beat them tonight, but it's Taylor and Davis that have all seven of Dow High's points early on. Gardner's in the paint. Now she'll work it back out, and a nice shot there as Macy Taylor adds her sixth basket of the night for the Dow High Chargers. Working the baseline. Nice feed there, but the basket is no good. Shot taken by Riley. She had it underneath, but could not come up with it. Now the Chargers will feed on the baseline, and a travel call. That was uh, Murray, and maybe that youthfulness on the Chargers side because Murray had an open lane to the bucket and uh, tried to stop so that she could pass the ball instead of just going to the hoop. Yeah, I don't think she was quite sure what she was going to do uh, when the defense stopped her approach to the basket, and she took the extra step. The press working. Molly Davis almost forced over the steal. Midland gets across the midcourt line. Phillips feeding it underneath. Jay Dawson, who just checked in, the freshman, had the open shot. This Dow High team only has one senior on the team, and that is a, a player that sees limited action. This is about as young as a team that you can get. On the Dow High side of things, there's only two seniors. That is Davis and Taylor. So both of these teams are, are relatively young. Yeah. Extremely young. V very young. Gardner, three-pointer, no good. Rebound pulled down by Dawson. Chargers with the lead. Three and a half minutes to go here in the opening quarter. This is the non-Valley matchup. These two teams will meet again later in the season. Three-point shot by Phillips. Count it. The junior, Jordan Phillips, hitting a three. And Jaden Globes wants to call an early timeout to set his defense with 3.08 to go here in the first quarter. It's now 9-7, to seven and we're early on in the game, but Klobes has got to be happy with the score and the way the Kimmicks are playing. Yep, I, I think he is. Uh, you can tell this is December basketball because you've got a lot of young players uh, trying to, to feel their way through, and offensively, uh, Dow High's only had uh, just two players. Guess who? Uh, Davis and... Uh, and Taylor that have really uh, stepped up in the scoring column. The others have to get comfortable to provide points. Couple of Charger fans in the <laughs> holiday spirit here tonight. This Dow High team, they're lost to Paroma Westphalia, but they have traveled in some tournament play. They have uh, defeated Howell, they defeated Ann Arbor Huron, and they defeated Freeland to begin the season. So the, the Chargers, Kyle Tyson wants to play the tough competition Get the Chargers ready early. Three-point shot is off the mark taken by Murray, and the Kimmicks will come back the other direction. Phillips feeding the Carpenter. Carpenter drives in. Macy Taylor coming up with the steal. Chargers will have the number. Taylor feeds it to Molly Davis. Davis all by herself, and uh, well, she'll be fouled. The three-pointer is no good, but Davis taking the bump, and she will go to the free-throw line. May have got away with the travel, but Four, on the three. left, she'll go to the free-throw line. Yeah, I was watching the flight of the ball. I really didn't see the contact, but uh, yeah. Phillips picking up the foul. That's her first. So Molly Davis, who averages 18 points a game for the Dow High Chargers, will go to the free throw line, but misses the second shot. 
Misses both of her uh, free throws. That's uncharacteristic. These are the free ones. Does not happen very often. She makes one of the three free throws, does Davis. 2.38 on the clock here as the Midland High Kimmicks work the ball down court. Couple of dribbles by Olivia Carpenter. Carpenter, switch of directions, goes to Jordan Phillips, working it back out over to Critz. Critz goes in, has the ball stripped away. They're going to call a foul on Caitlin Murray. Looked like all ball, but the official thought there may have been some kind of contact there. Might have been a finger, but mostly ball. I mean, I, I thought that was a pretty good uh, strip. It will send Midland High to the free throw line. Alyssa Critz, she is a junior. Picks up the first free throw. Critz is coming off a little bit of a back injury. She is not 100%, but she is definitely a, a player that uh, has kind of emerged as a leader on this Midland High team. She's got some incredible rebounding numbers. 17, 19, a couple of the games that came earlier in the year. Hits both of the free throws. It's a one-point game. Chargers with the lead, 2.25 to go here in the first quarter. Dow High working to Jada Garter. She's a player that's got breakout ability for Dow High. Molly Davis on the baseline. <laughs> Davis, count the bucket. Molly Davis has got six points for the Dow High Chargers. Chargers leading by three, and a foul is going to be called on Murray. That's going to be her second foul as Caitlin Murray finds herself into quick foul trouble for the Chargers. Well, she had the right idea. She cut her off, but nudged her out of bounds on the baseline. You can't do that. Abby Ray will check in. She is a freshman, one of two freshmen. The other freshman, Alexa Colnitis, is a starter. She's a role player. She's a defensive specialist. So a couple of freshmen on the floor for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High working it with Jay Dawson. Dawson's got no place to go, so she'll have to work it back out over to Carpenter. Carpenter feeds it to Critz. Three-point shot hits the front of the rim. Taylor will pull down the rebound. Taylor reads the floor so well, she takes it herself. This time, coast to coast, Maisie Taylor lays it in. 14-9, Chargers, a minute and a half to go here in the first quarter. That was a case where Midland turned their back on the ball, and Taylor took advantage of it. Dawson working to Critz. Critz being guarded by Taylor. We'll have to feed it out to Mulvaney. Mulvaney to Dawson. Dawson goes left, switches back to right, but can't get the free th uh, can't get the bucket to go. Maybe Taylor will get the rebound. Feed it to Jada Garner. Thought about the three, decided against it. Now back to Taylor with a minute on the clock. Garner this time she'll take the three pointer. Count it. Mentioned she's got that ability to shoot. She's a great athlete. Is Jada Gardner. Played a lot as a freshman, now as a sophomore, she gets her first basket of the game. 17 to nine, Dow High, 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Long three-pointer by Carpenter, no good. Boxed out nicely, Abby Ray will come up with the rebound. Molly Davis reads it well, but she traveled. The one thing Molly Davis sometimes gets caught with is that travel. Yeah, and she has to work. I had not seen the issue with uh, with palming the ball, but a year ago, she really struggled with that, and some refs called it. But uh, that was real close. She uh, she was a little late getting the ball down on the drive. Emma Reckowig has checked in for the Midland High Kimmix. Carpenter has the basketball. Feeding it now to Critz. Critz will go over to Dawson. Baseline shot down it. Jay Dawson, the freshman, with the bucket. Six point game of 10 seconds to go. Molly Davis with the basketball for the Dow High Chargers. Clock down to five, four. Davis goes into the paint. Doesn't get the foul call, but Taylor will get the rebound. Taylor didn't know how much time was on. That's a, something, something that doesn't happen very often. A rare mistake there. Taylor had a chance to fire the shot up, was unaware of just how little time was left. And we will go to the end of the first quarter with the Dow High Chargers leading 17 to 11. Well, so far, not a lot of uh, surprises. Uh, we've got Taylor and Davis kind of carrying Dow. Midland High, a lot of movement down here, but they're just not creating any really, really good shots. 
You're watching high school basketball on MCTV. We are located on Charter Spectrum on channel 188 to 191. You can also find us on AT&T's Uverse on channel 99. And we're also available on YouTube. There's, uh, there's some information about how you can become an MCTV volunteer. The first Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday of most months will have workshops. They, the studio's now open for the longest time. The, uh, the basement of the library oh, was closed, right. but that is no longer the case. We are open for business. The cost just $45. That includes your first year membership as an MCTV volunteer. There's the uh, telephone number, 837-3474. You can also find us online in the City of Midland website. We're on Facebook as well, so you can look us up there and become a volunteer here at MCTV. So Six for a while, I'm ahead, sorry, Dan. for a while, uh, MCTV was truly streaming. Well, we're still streaming. With all the well, water. Yeah, with the <laughs> with different all... kind of streaming. Yes, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought yeah. I'd throw that yeah. in. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. We are streaming. These games are also available on YouTube in high definition. So All hey, over the country, right? Uh, anywhere any, on your mobile device. You can watch us on your phone if you want to. That is scary. Yes. That is very scary. And you can see us until 4th of July, too. <laughs> you, you, know, you, can, you can watch us anytime you want to once the game is uh, uploaded guess. on YouTube. We're, uh, we're there we go. just a push of a button, and there we are, right in your face. Worth every penny. <laughs> Here we go, second quarter underway. Dow High leading by six. Midland High will have the basketball to uh, start the second quarter. Olivia Carpenter driving the baseline and a travel call. Molly Davis is on the defense. Yeah, Mo Molly played that really well. She kind of gave some ground, and uh, then Olivia Carpenter lost her footing and traveled. Working on the baseline are the Chargers. They go inside and stripped away. There's a nice steal. Alyssa Krista Jr. comes up with a steal, and then the Chargers will uh, commit the foul as uh, Therese Query, I believe, is in the game for the Dow High Chargers during the uh, first quarter break. She is a junior. Actually, that is uh, Karis Query. I'll get the name right. There we go, yeah. I wasn't sure, so I couldn't correct you. It's, it's Karis. Okay. Right now, Midland High with the basketball, down by six. Jaden Cloves, I'm sure pleased with that. Midland High has been hanging with everybody they've played, but now Carpenter or Phillips had picked up her dribble, no place to go, and finally Carpenter able to bail her out. Sooner or later, the wins are gonna come when you play your competition as close as Midland High has during the first four games of the season. Nice shot there by Carpenter, but it's no good, and we've got a whistle and a rebounding foul that's gonna go against Midland High, Phillips called with the foul. That's the second one on Phillips. Third one on Midland High. Midland, meanwhile, in the bonus, so they will be going to the free throw line. Chargers committing six fouls in the first quarter. Davis drives in, splits apart a couple of Kemick defenders, and Davis lays it in. That was a senior move, senior move. Just light touch on the glass. Six and a half to go here in the second quarter. Drives into the paint, works it out. And there's a back to Emma Reckweg. She's a sophomore. She's watched a handful of basketball games in her career. Yes, she has. Her dad coaches <laughs> at Northwood. We do have some coaching pedigree on the court. We've got uh, Jada Gardner, too. And, the, and of course, Macy Taylor. There's Amazing. Gardner with the three-pointer. Gardner's got two three-pointers on the game for the Dow High Chargers. Biggest lead, Dow leading by nine. Six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Phillips working out over to Critz. Critz will drive in. Now works it back over to Rekowek and back-to-back -back basket, back-to-back -back three-pointer. Emma Rekowek hitting the three, hit it from the right, hit it from the left. 22-15 is where we stand score-wise. Query drives in, nice pass into the paint, now works it back out over to Davis. Macy Taylor feeds it to a wide open Query underneath and she will draw the foul. Actually, that's Abby Ray, my, uh, my apologies. I think that's Abby. Yep, that's Abby. She's uh, playing in her first Midland Dow game and uh, you know, sometimes she gets some butterflies. She had the ball wide open underneath and uh, 
you know, it's all experience. I'll remember the long hair that covers up the number of Abby Ray. <laughs> She's a 5'10 freshman on this Dow High Charger team. And Ray is one of two on the free throw line. Carpenter brings it down for Midland High. Switches up, goes over to Phillips. Now works it back out to the top of the key. Davis nearly had herself a steal. Carpenter feeds it to Dawson. Dawson's had a lot of playing time, stolen away, but Dawson's going to get it right back. The steal by Ray, steal stolen back. Now Phillips won't get the foul called, won't get the basket, and the Chargers will come back the other direction. Just under five minutes to go here in the second quarter. Ray will take it to the basket and she'll draw the foul. Nice drive by Abby Ray. Yep, uh, that, that'll get you into the game uh, real quick. Just uh, getting some confidence going to the bucket. Yeah, this game has had some interesting flow. It, it just doesn't seem like the game is as far apart as the scoreboard says, but uh, we've got uh, some shots that Dow has hit that uh, has created the, the seven-point deficit. Maddie Lang is going to check into the game for the first time. Coming off the bench, Lang is a player that Jaden Klobes is, uh, is very high on coming off the bench. She's a very smart player. Free throws are no good. Midland High will come back the other way. Kyle Tyson likes the basketball team that he has for the Dow High Chargers, but he may not be completely satisfied with uh, what we are seeing here tonight. There's been streaks where Dow High has looked like a, uh, you know, like a contending team, and there's been times that the Dow High Chargers have struggled early on. Yeah, right now it's uh, it's truly being led by their two seniors, and their uh, their younger players have got to really get uh, involved in the offense. Alyssa Kepner will check back into the game for the Chargers. Midland High, there's a nice pass. Kim McFan able to get a shot off of it. Alyssa Critz will go into the paint again. Beats it over to Reckerweg. She'll go baseline. Nice drive, and Reckerweg has played incredibly well coming off the bench for the Midland High Seven. Kimmich. Seven points for Reckerweg. Molly Davis working the ball now for the Chargers. Davis driving into the paint. Feeds it back out. Three-pointer. That shot is no good. Following it up nice, and we've got a jump ball being called. Alexa Golnitis, the freshman, started and spent a little bit of time on the bench, came back, had a wide open shot, but unable to get it to fall through. Golnitis is one of those players, more of a defense specialist than a offensive specialist, but as young as she is, she's going to be somebody to watch the next couple of years. Oh, yeah. You know, she's got uh, three more years uh, to advance her game on all levels. Macy Taylor hitting a three-pointer for the Chargers. She has 11. Double digits for the future Northwood player. Macy will join her older sister as a Timberwolf next year. 26-18 Dow, three and a half minutes to go. Carpenter's shot, or Phillips' shot is no good. Taylor will bring it back the other way for the Chargers. Davis, back to Taylor. Feeds it over on the far side to Colnitis. Goes into the paint, goes back out to Gardner. So many scoring threats for the Chargers, but Gardner's shot is off the mark. Midland I had the rebound briefly, and Cole Nidus comes up with a great steal. Battle for the basketball will be Dow High. Cole Nidus will win that battle. Dow's re, uh, relentless here on this uh, possession, but uh, they just can't seem to clear an open shot. Three minutes to go here in the half. Davis from the top of the key, count it. That'll work. Molly Davis hits the three-pointer. There's Cole Nidus who really set things up for the Dow High Chargers. Davis has got 11. It's the first double-digit lead of the game for the Dow High Chargers. Shot there taken by Maddie Lang is no good. Cole Nidus will bring the ball back for the Chargers. Goes over to Davis. Two and a half to go here in the second quarter. Long three-pointer, count it. Holly Davis, back-to-back -back three-pointers. This is the Charger team that Kyle Tyson likes to see. 
so many weapons. Davis, Taylor, Konitis, Gardner. There is so many weapons that can score for the Chargers. Three-pointers no good, and pulling down the rebound, the Chargers will come back the other direction. Davis drives into the lane. Nice feed, but the little bunny is no good, but Gardner there for the putback. Did I mention so many weapons for the Dow High Chargers? <laughs> Well, they're getting set up inside very nicely by uh, Molly Davis. Phillips will feed it to Rechterweg. Three-pointer. It counts. Even if it's off the backboard, it counts. Emma Rechterweg is the leading scorer for the Midland High Chemics. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Midland High basketball. And for Rechterweg, the bank is open. 34-21. Just uh, about a minute and a half to go here in the second quarter. Rekaway is one of those players that doesn't mind when Coach Klopes gets on, you know, gives her a little bit of grief, gives her a little bit of a, uh, a talking to, and do doesn't mind it. And, of course, we mentioned, you know, she grew up, grew up in that basketball family, so she knows how basketball coaches can get from time to time. Oh, yeah, and it, it just helps your focus on the game. Uh, you, you can't take it personally. Macy Taylor with the basketball for the Chargers. Feeds it to Davis, who can't get the bucket to go, but a great rebound, and the putback falls in. Alyssa Kepner, the junior, getting the bucket, her first basket of the game. Taylor coming up with a steal. Nobody around, and Taylor will lay it in. <laughs> Under a minute to go, Chargers beginning to pull away. This is Dow High Charger basketball. This is the basketball that Kyle Tyson wanted to see early on. I think Midland kind of controlled the first quarter. Dow High has controlled the second quarter. Yes. Maddie Lang with the ball for the Kimmicks. Fadeaway shot, does not get the friendly home bounce. Molly Davis with the steal. 30 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Davis will slow things down. Passes over to Macy Taylor. Taylor takes a couple of dribbles. Clock down to 15 seconds. Jada Gardner dribbles to Molly Davis. Wide open for the three-pointer. Count it. If you leave Molly Davis that wide open, she is going to score. And it's a 20-point lead for the Dow High Chargers. Final seconds, and the Chargers coming away with the steal. And the Dow High Chargers will go in with a big lead at halftime, Tom. But what we saw, the final two to three minutes of the first half, the Chargers just exploded with three-pointers by Davis and Taylor and the Dow High Chargers. It's amazing how quickly this game went from, you know, a nine-point lead to a 13-point lead to a 20-point lead. Well, it got towards the end, and uh, uh, Jaden Klobes had some different people in there and the defensive pressure just disappeared. And so at halftime, you've got Davis and Taylor with 30 of the Chargers' 41 points. That's the one thing that Klobes did not want to happen, but it is, and it you know, was to be expected because Macy Taylor and Molly Davis, that is Dow High Charger basketball. Yeah, these are two college girls playing against high school girls tonight. We are at halftime here at Midland High. We're going to take a quick timeout, come back, and get ready for the third quarter of action. The Dow High Chargers leading 41-21. to You're watching high school basketball on MPS TV. And we welcome you back to Midland High High School Basketball on MPS TV. I'm Jason Harper. That's Tom Bell. And uh, Jason, the coaches have made their, or Tom, their, <laughs> whoever you are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, coaches have made their halftime adjustments for uh, this game. Dow High's got a big lead, so let's put your coaching cap on briefly. If you are Kyle Tyson, you had an explosive end to the first half. You built that 20-point lead. You just keep on trucking. Yes, he wants his team to continue to run the offense. This is no time to get sloppy. You think you got a pretty good lead. At this point, you're playing a team that uh, you were probably predicted to handle pretty easily just because of so much youth on Midland's side. But uh, Dow High's got some bigger plans ahead. 
and they've got to continue to play hard because if you get sloppy, sometimes you find that some kids uh, be become careless and they get injured. If you're the Midland High Kimmick fan, Jaden Klopes, you had to be pleased with the first quarter. You played competitive, did not have the best flow, but you played competitive. Towards the end of the second quarter, whether it was uh, fatigue or just the youthfulness inexperience, you found yourself now behind by a bundle. What was your message? Well, I think that uh, Midland got real lazy in their passes in, into the lane, and that started Dow's uh, fast break. And once they got out ahead of Midland, uh, it gave Dow just too many options, and that was a killer right at the end, because if Dow came down and tried to deny a drive, he'd kick it out to Molly, and Molly hit the three. Ready to go with the so. third quarter. The leading scorer in the contest uh, for the Dow High Chargers, Molly Davis. She's got 17 points in the first half. Maisie Taylor behind her with 13 points. And then Jada Gardner has eight points off of a, a couple of three-pointers. For the Midland High Chemics, Emma Reckaway coming off the bench and leading Midland High with nine points in the contest. Olivia Carpenter's got four for Midland High. Midland driving to start the third quarter. Ball goes out of bounds, so the Kimmicks will keep possession of the basketball. So we'll see what the halftime adjustments were made. The Dow High Chargers 3-1 and one coming into this game. Midland High still looking for that uh, first win, which will come eventually. Probably not tonight, but it will come for this Midland High team. Stolen away. The Chargers coming back the other direction, led by Cole Nidus. Shot is no good. Midland High will get the rebound. Advantage Kimmix after Riley pulled down the rebound. Alyssa Kritz will be fouled as she attempts to put up the shot. Yeah, that was smart because uh, there were two players from Dow that really had an angle on her. She jump stopped, waited for the girls to go by, which they didn't. Then she, she muscled the ball up and got fouled. Alyssa Kritz on the free throw line for the Kimmix, able to get the first shot to fall through. Regan Riley on the floor for Midland High. I haven't talked about much about her in the first half, but she's, uh, you know, everybody on this Kimmick team is young, but Riley's a player, like many of the Midland High Kimmicks, just waiting to break out. Oh, yeah, and she, she's a girl that, that gives them some presence in the post, which Davis, uh, Midland rare, High is a team of guards. Davis with a rare miss in the three-point line. And we mentioned this Midland High Kimmick team Battling a series of injuries, Anna Tuck, who would have been a starter for Midland High, she is out for the season with a knee injury. Sydney Schaefer has an ankle injury that was suffered in the first game. She is out until with some time in mid-January. So you know, not only are they young, but they've been bitten by that injury bug. Yeah, and uh, with Schaefer, uh, that, that's going to give them a, an extra player uh, to be able to run a kind of a rotation through at guard. Chargers have got a couple of uh, injuries of their own. We have yet to see Haley Jester play tonight. She had ACL surgery, and she's dressed. She's played in other games for the Chargers, but we have yet to see her tonight. Yeah, and uh, she can be a big presence at six foot one sophomore, but uh, Coach Tyson is going to be very careful with her. Uh, if she sees any playing time at all, it'll be just a couple of minutes at a time. Give the lane, it will be taken. Maisie Taylor reading the floor well. Taylor coming up with the bucket for Dow High. Back to a 20-point lead for the Chargers. Taylor now has 15. Midland High will throw it away. Jada Gardner looking to go coast to coast after the steal. Can't get the bucket to go. Battle for the rebound will be won by the Kimmicks. Regan Riley will pull it down for the Kimmicks. Now to Critz. Kritz goes into the paint, will feed it back out. Top of the key to Reckaway. Now feeds it over to Phillips. Passing to Riley. The junior goes back to Carpenter. Midland High, they learn on the fly. This is a Kimmick team that, uh, you know, will take their lumps this year, but this is a Midland High team that we may be talking about the next couple of years. Stolen away underneath. Nice play by Cole Nidus. Macy Taylor will work the ball. Taylor to Molly Davis, goes back to Taylor. Taylor back to Davis. How many passes have they gone back and forth? <laughs> they know where each other's located. 
Nice pass nice by pass. Taylor and a nice good job there by Alexa Colnitis. The freshman with their first basket of the game worked the baseline beautifully, did Colnitis. Into the paint, Midland High, Riley cannot get the shot to go. Now Jada Gardner will work ahead to Davis. Davis will put it up, but can't get it to fall through. Davis gets the rebound, working back out now over to Gardner. Macy Taylor working it. Cole Nidus shooting the three and followed the shot nicely and a battle for the rebound will be won by Midland High. Cole Nidus is a defensive specialist, but she's getting some offensive action here tonight. Another turnover as Phillips losing the dribble. Molly Davis underneath. Lay it in for the Dow High Chargers. They've got their biggest lead of the night. That's 19 for Davis. But uh, I, I know that uh, Tyson wants some of those other players to get involved, but uh, they're putting Davis and Taylor in really good places. Nice defense there. Can't, Trips cannot get the shot, so the Chargers come back. Molly Davis, three-pointer, count it. Her career high, 36. <laughs> And that's close to a Dow High girls record. I think 38, if I'm not mistaken. She might be uh, surpassing it tonight if she stays on the floor. Just over four minutes to go here in the third quarter. All kinds of substitutions coming into the game now for the Midland High gimmicks. Renee Mulvaney, just a freshman, will check in. And Jade Dawson will come in as well. So a couple of freshman players Checking in for Midland High. Chargers brought Karis Query back into the game. Carpenter working for Midland, they throw it away. I think one of the adjustments that Tyson has made is he's having his backline defenders play a little looser on defense uh, to cut off the drives. Macy Taylor will feed it in to a query underneath who couldn't get the basket to fall through. Now it's Cole Nidus. Long throw. Molly Davis, baseline. That shot is no good. Jada Gardner, great rebound. Can't get the put back to fall through. Davis, that time it will fall through. Chargers just controlling the boards as well as controlling the pace of this contest. Well, Davis now has more points than Midland. 29-point lead for the Dow High Chargers with just over three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Another steal, and here comes the Dow High Chargers. Jada Gardner feeds it out to Davis, works it over to Macy Taylor. Taylor goes back to Davis. In a situation like this, you know, the game's starting to, you know, become, you know, who's going to win is becoming less and less of a factor. What are you working on? Is this a time as a, as a coach that you start working on different things? Well, I can tell you uh, defensively. Alexa cole hitting a three-pointer. Defensively, if anybody uh, drops their head, you take them out. You keep their head up, you keep them positive. That this is an opportunity at the real live game-like situations to, to keep them moving. Renee Mulvaney with a nice drive to the bucket. Mulvaney gets the bucket to fall through, breaking a scoreless streak that Midland High was stuck on 23 for the longest time. 30-point lead for the Chargers, over two minutes to go here in the third quarter, and a travel call on Cole Nias. And one of the things I think Kyle Tyson has done here in the third quarter, we're seeing Cole Nidus play more offense, getting shots, they're feeding her the ball a little bit. Well, you know, and, and uh, Kyle said that she doesn't, she's not much a part of the offense yet, but she's got a good shot. I like the rotation off her hand. Well, you never know when you're going to get into a game where you may get, you know, Davis or Taylor into foul trouble and who's going to step up? Somebody's got to step up. So a situation like this and a nice rebound there by Alyssa Critz. She will go to the free nice. throw line. You know, a situation like the game here tonight, you can work on some of those things if you're down high so that you're prepared if you get into that contest. You know, we think back to last year and the, you know, the Dow High Chargers district game against Bay City Western. 
A lot of the starters got into foul trouble. Jada Gardner came off the bench and had a huge game for Dow High. Kyle Tyson, I think, building on some of those situations. Well, as a coach that's scouting Dow, it's very quick that you know you are going to have to stop uh, Taylor and Davis. And uh, uh, if you have a lockdown defender, that's where you put them. And Dow's got to develop some other things. Rich, one of two on the free throw line. Three-pointer taken by Caitlin Murray. The sophomore has checked into the game for the Dow High Chargers. There's a three-pointer by Olivia Carpenter. No good. Maisie Taylor will get the rebound, but will throw it away. That doesn't happen very often. Chargers, however, able to get the ball back. Thought about the three with Murray. Decides against it. Now Abby Ray, who is also back into the game, feeds it over to Murray. Now Maisie Taylor. Working the ball around are the Chargers. Taylor thought about the three. Instead, she drives in. Now she'll feed it. You know, Molly Davis, Maisie Taylor, they'll put up the points. And Maisie Taylor taking the three-pointer there. That's off the mark. Great rebound by Query. And she will, uh, the ball knocked out of bounds. Chargers will keep possession. But Davis and Taylor are very unselfish. They come up, you know, they lead the team in scoring, but they're unselfish players. Well, you, I just watched Taylor dribble the ball into the lane, drew the defender, and got somebody open on the wing. I mean, it was classic. Um... Molly Davis with a, another three-pointer for the Dow High Chargers. 45 seconds to go. Here in the third quarter, working the baseline, shot taken by Carpenter is no good. Davis will come back the other direction, feeding it underneath to Abby Ray, and Ray will go to the free throw line. That was a nice pass. 37 seconds to go, and the Dow High Chargers will be on the free throw line. The foul, by the way, on Dawson, only her first. Neither team in foul trouble, uh, need, no player is in foul trouble in the contest. Very few fouls. Second shot by Ray is good. One of two on the free throw line is Abby. Midland High dribbles down, Reckaway working the basketball for Midland. Couple of nice dribbles, left, right, and then she forces the shot up and it falls through. Reckaway continues to be the leading scorer for this Midland High team. She's got 11 points on the night. Dow High will wait for the final shot of the third quarter. Clock down to 10 seconds. Macy Taylor with the dribble, takes a, a couple of screens. Feeds it back to Molly Davis, seven seconds. Davis launches the three, no good. Rebound by Carpenter, but stolen away by Taylor. She can't get the shot to go. Davis's shot will not count. And we're at the end of the third quarter. Dow High with a big lead here tonight. Chargers leading Midland 59 to 28. These two teams will meet again come 2019. I believe they will also meet in the postseason. So a lot of chances for these uh, players to know each other well. You're watching this contest on MCT, on MPS TV or on MCTV. And if you want to, uh, well, we're not just video, we're media, MCTV, all kinds of opportunities for you to uh, become a volunteer. You can put your videos on YouTube, promote your programs on social media. You can even do an audio podcast now. All kinds of options at MCTV's media department, and there is the information to become a volunteer on Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll work it around your schedule. Become an MCTV volunteer. The cost is $45. Again, the phone number, 837-3474. Also go online. You can check us out on Facebook as well. Just all kinds of options, all kinds of opportunities to uh, become an MCTV volunteer. Tom, I'll have to ask you, What's your favorite podcast that you listen to? That's exactly what I thought your answer was going to be. Podcast? Are we, are we talking frogs? <laughs> okay. No. Um, we, we, you know, every game I've got to tease you about. Yes, you, you do. still have a VCR? I, I don't. Oh. No, I don't. Wow. I, I wow. don't have a VCR. Okay. But I've got a uh, VHS player. Well, that's a, v, that's, that's a VCR. It's the only way. Well, it only plays. I didn't think you had a beta it, it player. Rec, it doesn't record anything, 
It just, that's the only way I can watch Hoosiers, you know? <laughs> that is available on DVD, and you can stream that movie among uh, many, uh, many media opportunities. <laughs> Davis with the bucket. 29. If, if we start the fourth yes. quarter, what a game Davis is having here tonight. Chargers pulling away if the fourth quarter begins. Not unexpected, this now high Charger team loaded with talent while the Midland High Kimmick team is young and learning. And uh, they're about as green as a Dow High logo are the Midland High Kimmicks, but they're improving from game to game, as are the Chargers, which will be uh, very Happy for Kyle Tyson come uh, February and March. Well, one thing that uh, Jaden Klobes has said that his girls continue to fight through screens and hustle, and he's right, they, they do. They're just not as smooth as Dow is because they don't have the experienced players. Again, Murray had a shot to uh, go up and get a basket instead trying to, you know, to, to feed the guards. And I'd like to see Murray go up when that basket's wide open, take that shot. Sure. And now we have Jaster is in the game just for a few minutes. Uh, it would be wise that on offense that if they could take advantage of, of her height presence. But uh, we'll see what happens when we get to the other end of the court. Yeah, she's been cleared to play but had ACL surgery not that uh, long ago. Midland High, Renee Mulvaney. She's just a freshman. She's a player that's going to be good in the next couple of years for Midland High. Alyssa Critz can't get the shot to go. Taylor will bring it back the other direction for the Chargers. Feeds it to Molly Davis, who misses the three-pointer. She Six hasn't a missed a lot of them. Go. No, no, she has not. Molly Davis will be playing at Central Michigan next year. Maisie Taylor will join her sister and play basketball at Northwood. Jordan drives in. Jordan Phillips, the junior, will get the bucket and she will go to the free throw line for Midland. Was it uh, uh, Phillips that had the first basket for Midland High? It's been a long time between baskets at least. Yes. Uh, she scored early in the first quarter, and uh, she gets her second basket in the fourth quarter. Holly Davis and Macy Taylor head to the bench for the Dow High Chargers. A great game for those two uh, young ladies. 29 and 15. Pretty impressive on the floor. So some new faces, Chloe McVeigh, the sophomore, will work it out to the top of the key. Abby Ray, nice read by Ray. Great job by the freshman, open lane, and Ray will get the bucket. Carpenter I think that's five with for the Ray. ball for Millen. Carpenter with a nice read on the other end, found the open lane, and Carpenter able to lay it in. Six for Carpenter. 33 or 32-point thir lead. 63-32, doesn't fall through. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay Charger basketball with 5.41 to go. Well, now it's just a learning experience in game situations because this game is basically done. On a great pass by Garter, but Jaster could not get the shot to fall through. Yeah, this is a chance for some new players to get some points, and a shot by McVeigh is no good. Everybody's going to work on something at this point in the contest, whether you're the, the Kimmicks or the Chargers. Nice move there by Alyssa Critz. Couldn't get the shot to go. Put back is no good. Battle for the rebound will be won by the Chargers, and a foul will be called by Midland High. Maybe a little frustration setting in. The Kimmicks knew coming into this game they were extreme underdogs in the contest, but still, you know, the, the, the win or the loss is not that important to Jaden Globe, but I think he'll be a little disappointed in the fact that this game got out of hand. Yeah, and it did very, very quickly, right before halftime. Dow High struggled in the first quarter, but there's been no struggling for the Chargers since then. A dominating performance for a team that has a plans to play basketball for a while. Of course, Saginaw Heritage may uh, alter those plans when you get into the postseason. Yeah, Heritage is on another level. 
Nice pass inside to Jaster. Can't get the shot to go. Nice defense by Mulvaney. And now Critz will pull down. Jordan Phillips, three-pointer, no good. And we're going to have a foul called during the battle for the rebound going against Midland High. Well, the, uh, the Dow High Chargers are uh, shooting so well, they've uh, set off the fire alarm here. Are they going to empty the I don't the believe gym? so. We're, uh, no. Well, they didn't. But uh, Kyle Tyson is going to call a 30-second timeout. Fire alarm is no longer going off. So all, all is good. I could have expected the fire alarm to go off just before halftime because Dow was really smoking at that time. But, um, yeah, well, at this this point in the game, uh, Kyle wants his, his who's ever on the court to play within the offensive scheme because that's, that's the way he practices and that's what he wants to see on the court. He doesn't want to see any selfish play. Midland High has to continue to play hard on defense and look for the open player on, on offense. Right now, Dow has kind of figured out what Midland is doing, and it's just not giving them as many scoring opportunities. And so the score now is about uh, 30, 31 point difference. Jada Gardner with the ball for the Dow High Chargers over to Chloe McVeigh. McVeigh, the sophomore. And you know, if you're McVeigh, you're playing behind Molly Davis and Maisie Taylor. You're learning from two of the best high school players that you can learn from. And from her, she got to remember, they're not going to be here ne next year. So there are opportunities at the guard position. Gardner will be here next year. She is just a sophomore for the Dow High Chargers. Now McVeigh working the ball for Dow High. Four minutes to go in this city battle between the Chargers and the Chemics. Nice defense there by Maddie, Maddie Lang. Knocks the ball back to Gardner. Thought about pulling up the shot with Abby Ray. Decides against it. Now it's back to Chloe McVeigh. McVeigh picks up her dribble. Feeds it over to Caitlin Murray and stolen away. Mulvaney comes up with a steal and she will draw the foul. Nice defensive play by Renee Mulvaney. She is just a freshman. Mulvaney is a player that I enjoy watching. I think she's going to be a breakout player soon. Well, I think that uh, the definition of ball hawk really fits her because she seems to be in on, on things with really quick hands. So Mulvaney on the free throw line comes up and able to... Uh, Hit one of two free throws for the Midland High Chemics. Now down on the other end, and the ball goes out of bounds. It will stay Charger basketball. 3.27 on the clock. It's a 30-point lead for Dow High. Jaster into the paint. Her first basket of the game. She's a junior. She'll be healthy next year for the Dow High Chargers. Well, we had, had to wreck away uh, trying to make the shot on the baseline. It got tipped and off down the court goes Dow. And I think they stepped out of bounds. So it's going to be Midland's ball on the sideline. Dow High will bring Karis Query back into the game. Three minutes to go. It's all Dow High, and this game was competitive for the first quarter, Tom, but that, by that two-minute span towards the end of the second quarter just completely turned everything tipsy-turvy, and the Dow High Chargers have not looked back since that time, and Query comes in, works the baseline underneath, and Query comes up with the shot. Now on the other end, Critz has the basket stolen away, coming back the other Direction are the Chargers. And a foul there. Not exactly sure. Critch was like, I've played this entire game. I'm kind of tired. I'm not stopping. I'm just, you know. just going to go through you. <laughs> she hasn't left the court, has she? I don't think so. She is now. That's her nice third foul. But she okay. has played a nonstop for Midland. Regan Riley will come back into the game. Well, 
Dow has really been in control of the scoreboard, but as far as the play on the court, it just looked a great deal more even, and then all of a sudden before halftime, it wasn't. A foul called on the baseline. We'll see neither team in foul trouble. No players really in foul trouble. A couple of players have got three fouls, but that is, uh, that is it. Maybe, uh, that foul will call on uh, Query, who's got her third. So one player from each has got three fouls, but other than that, no real you know, player in foul trouble. And in this game, we've got two minutes left. It's just a matter of letting those two minutes go off the clock. Nice rebound by Midland High. Regan Riley coming in. If you're Jaden Globes and if you're Kyle Tyson, at this point of the game, you just want players to play hard. You do, yes. And, and like I said before, play within the scheme of the offense. Uh, you don't want anybody just going down for their points. Nice drive by Abby Ray, but she did not get the, uh, the bucket to fall through. If you're wondering why the uh, fire alarm went off, they burnt the popcorn, Tom. So our... Uh, oh, that's what I smell. Our, uh, okay. our post-game meal is going to be burnt. <laughs> Oh, no, that's all we get paid for <laughs> with, for doing this is popcorn. Another Abby, night of free broadcasting. Huh? Abby Ray on the free throw line gets the first shot to go, and the second one is no good. Two minutes to go, all Dow High, 68 to 33. Midland High will work the ball to Mulvaney, feeding it over to Reckaway. Reckaway losing the hand on the ball, regaining. Reckaway is going to force the shot up. Doesn't get the foul, but there for the rebound is Riley. The putback does not fall through, and the Chargers will come back the other direction. No, they keep battling. And a nice attempt there, the steal by Mulvaney. Meanwhile, McVeigh will launch a three-pointer. No good. Rebound by Mulvaney. Jordan Phillips with the ball for the Kimmicks. Works it back to the top of the key. Reckaway will drive in, no whistle. They're gonna let them play for the uh, final 70 <laughs> seconds in this contest. Baseline, three-pointer by the Chargers. That shot is no good. Rebound pulled down by the Midland High Kimmicks. Under a minute to go, long three-pointer. That one was launched by Phillips and now the Chargers Looking to come back the other direction. Jaster, who's played uh, several minutes here in the fourth quarter, feeding the ball to Abby Ray. Working back to Jaster on the baseline. Jaster with a couple of baskets. Four points on the night for Jaster. It'll be nice when she is healthy after uh, ACL surgery. 30 seconds to go in the contest. 37-point lead, trying to drive in with Mulvaney, and we've got a whistle and a foul call that will go against Midland High. Well, it's actually a one-and-one one situation. The foul called on Phillips, which is her third, but the one-and-one one will send the Dow High Chargers to the free throw line. Although right now they're going to give it to them on the baseline, but... I believe it should be a one-in-one -one situation. Not exactly sure why we uh, uh, didn't shoot, but not not that they need the, uh, the the free throws at this point, but I do believe it was one and one. Ten seconds to go. I love the fact that you know Midland High still playing hard in the final seconds when you're down by 37 points. Well, I'm sure that uh, Jaden has told his team, don't look at the scoreboard. Just play hard. And if you're the Dow High Chargers, a lot of new faces on the floor in the fourth quarter. They played hard as well. The Dow High Chargers will come away with a victory here tonight, 70 to 33. The victory for the green and gold. And Tom, this was pretty much what we expected to see in the contest tonight. Dow High Chargers led by Molly Davis, led by Maisie Taylor doing what they have done all season long, even though we're only on game number five. Guard play, uh, control the tempo, put up the three-pointer. They kind of orchestrated things. Yeah, score uh, baskets. 
they moved the ball, they got the ball to other players, and then uh, both M Maisie and uh, Molly just, just fed each other. And uh, Molly ended up with 29 and Maisie with 15, but uh, Maisie could have had 20 or 25 if she wanted to, but she was kind of the distributor and she drive drive to the middle and just find somebody that was open. I mean, yeah, very, was very strong showing by the Dow High Chargers here tonight. They continue to build on their season. Dow High going to four and one on the season, while the Midland High Chemics dropping down to zero oh and five. So the Dow High Chargers continue to do what they do well. They will go into the holiday break with momentum. And Midland High, that learning curve is steep, but you know, game by game. Year by year, in a couple of years, the, the players on the floor for Midland High bound to be improved. Sure. And if there's anything that, that Kyle may not be real happy with, he never did get to any kind of scoring balance. He didn't find that third scorer yet, but that'll come. That'll come. Both teams with things to work on. We thank you for joining us here tonight on MPS TV High School Basketball featuring the Chargers and the Chemics. Dow High pulling away and coming away with a 37 point win. Dow High winning tonight's contest 70 to 33. For Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. Thank you for watching High School Basketball on MPS TV.